and I flip them for 30 each, that's $3,000. I just made 2,500. Really do this nigga, this, 30, this 35 times five, times five, times five, do that times five, times five, times five, nigga, times five, times five, times five, times five, times five, nigga. Now you do the math about that. And the oh, yeah, really like flipping cars probably easier than flipping bub because it flip faster but at the same time it's more profit depending on where you get it from what i'm gonna say is if you're gonna flip cars to find you a good plug like a real motherfucking plug you feel me like a plug that'll get you them hoes like per cart cheap as fuck don't find the middleman because if you find the middleman he's gonna tax you like a motherfucker right like he's gonna tax you probably like 20 a cart i'm gonna let y'all know right now whenever i was selling them hoes bro i I was getting in for six dollars and 25 cents a pop boom i get every single car with six dollars 25 cents a pop and i'll resell them for like 25 30 dollars so think about that bro i'm making like at least 19 dollars off every fucking cart that i sell you feel me a nigga that's good as fuck what well, i'm making at least 19 dollars if i sell it for 25 sometimes 30 which mean I'm making like 25 a pop if I sell it for 30, basically. So you should start selling bud first. You know what I'm saying? After you after you sell bud and you get to like a P and shit, you start getting hella bread, you make hella profit. With that profit, instead of just going to blow that hoe, bro, what I would do, I would fucking take your profit, go, you know, find your a cart plug, a good one. Not one of these that's gonna tax you. When you find you a good ass cart plug, you wanna tell him, all right, how much would you do for about a hundred, at least a hundred. See what he gonna do, you feel me? I will start at nothing less than a hundred pack too. I mean, if you just wanna sell straight carts, you can start with the little 25, you know, the little whatever they give you, but shit. What I'm saying is, bro, the way I did it was I was flipping the bows first. Boom, I get to flipping the bows, then I add the carts, bro. Like, I got like a hundred for like 500, but if I'm only paying like 500 for a hundred carts, bro, and I flip them for 30 each, that's $3,000. I just made 2,500. You feel me? That's not, that's if I just sell them 30 a pop, no deals, no nothing. You feel me? So you see what the bread is different from the bud? Yeah, the bud is good too, but once you get to the cars, and if you really can flip them hoes, like you really hustling and get them hoes off them, you feel me? Like, you're gonna be making cake for it. Let's say you throw deals out there, you feel me? Someone buys five of them, so you do, you know, for 20 a pop. Fuck it. You could do deals like that. Don't it don't matter, bro. Twenty a pop is as low as you go though. You're still making fifteen dollars off of every one that you sell. In reality, you make about you spend five hundred. You probably make about eighteen hundred to two thousand. So you still making like at least, bro, thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred profit. Let's say if you throw deals. Now, if you really want to be patient with it, it might take longer. But if you sell it one by one by one by one, that's how you will get you'll get your full, you know, twenty five hundred for real. You could really run that shit up. I just say, you know, when you when you move, you feel me? Only move with like ten at max because you don't need all that shit. If a cop pull you over and you end up getting slipping and you end up get your ass and they see fucking a hundred carts in your shit, a hundred felonies, my nigga. My nigga facing like ten years of probation for that shit, some time in jail. You feel me? Like that's real shit right there. I'm telling you. Like real shit, you don't want to get caught with no motherfucking carts, bro. And and on top of that, my nigga had the Draco and he had like a bowl of butt on him, bro. You feel me? So don't slip up like that, cause if you do, fam, that shit gonna eat you. If they if you get caught, bro, everybody say they will not get caught. That they move smarter, bro. It happened to everybody. Everybody had mistakes and everybody slip up. So don't think that you special. You gonna get around different. Moving carts, bro. Know that you signed up for fucking felonies, cause if you get caught with that shit. You catching a felony charge, no matter what. If it's your first charge, you're gonna be good, get you a lawyer, he gonna get you right, you go to probation or the little program, whatever you gotta do, fam. You do that shit, you good, it get expunged off your record, you can still go get a job out there, you feel me? But if you already caught a felony and you do it again, you fucked up, you feel me? They fucking you up. Also, another thing, if you already selling bud, ask your bud niggas if they need some cars. Sometimes though, you know, you got them niggas that only smoke gas and you got them bitches that only smoke cars, you feel me? So not every single one gonna be that. 30 to 50% of your people actually gonna fuck with cars. You might have to build a little bit of new customs just for cars, you feel me? Now, a good way to do this, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you how you get customs with cars. A lot of people, bro, that smoke cars is still in school, but they like, they just like the people that can't can't smoke in a house like that or you know they can't get caught smelling and shit you feel me it's mostly them type of people if you got a little cousin if you got anybody in your family still in school nigga tell them hey bro tell these people around in high school or eighth grade nigga whatever it is tell them like hey let people know you know what i'm saying i got these cars or what you can do is be like call him 10 for 15 a pop boom he bought them hoes right 
or you like you can front them in too. If it's someone you trust, I'll front them like 10 for that. Now you got a nigga working your shit in school. You feel me? You see how this shit all come together? Now you now you put a nigga on. You feel me? You got a hundred pet. You just put a nigga on that, right? And then when he make all his money from flipping them hoes, he gonna pay you. So with a front, if you don't know what a front is, like you don't get that nigga that shit for for the free at first. But when he done flipping them, he gonna give you the money he owe you, which is 15 a pop on 10 carts at the end. So he gonna give you your back end. Now that's only if you trust a nigga. If you don't trust a nigga like that, bro, do not do it because you're not gonna see that money ever again. But with cars, it's a little easier. Like it's a lot of niggas that want to get put on with cars because they, bro, cars, the money good. So a lot of motherfuckers want to get put on with cars because they know like, damn, if I flip these niggas, it's bread. So that's what I'm saying with cars. It's gonna be a lot more niggas trying to get put on and hustle and shit, which is cool. It's okay. That's actually good for you because you're gonna be getting them all way faster and it's gonna start a unit. You feel me? Them niggas gonna keep coming back because they selling. Bro, I started from nothing. Let me just just reclaim. If you new here, bro, no cap. I started off a fucking zip with my nigga, bro. We started out one zip, fam. We stacked it and flipped it, stacked it and flipped it all the way to a fucking pen. Flip some bowls, cop the honey pack. Boom, flip them hoes, flip that, nigga. I was making, we were making bands, bro. Hotel every night, nigga. Like, different hotel, everything. Junkies at the door, bro. We had Adderall, all this shit. You feel me? Went to get the Draco 75-round drum, nigga, with a 30-round mag with it, too. Nigga, I had a Glock with an extendo on it. Glock with a fucking, uh, has a red dot, like, on some Call of Duty shit, you feel me? So, it's like, this shit possible, nigga. I don't came up from nothing. I don't came up from a zip to having bowls. Having pills, having carts, straps, hotels, bitches, like no one could fuck with me, you feel me? And you know what I'm saying? I could do it to this day, but I'ma do this YouTube shit and I'ma just put y'all on, but you feel me? I just want y'all to be safe with everything I tell y'all cause this shit is real, bro. Like what I'm saying, I mean that shit. I don't been through it. I don't been caught up. I don't had all my money took. We don't had our money took. We don't had our shit took. And we can't get it back because 12 take it. Now you fighting an $80,000 bond case. Then you got to pay your lawyer 20000 you feel me? Or 15000 So if you think about getting in this fucking game, bro, know this shit is real, bro. If you get caught, nigga, you signed up for that shit. You gonna have to pay your lawyer fifteen. You gonna have to pay the fucking court eighty thousand, one twenty bands, whatever they want for your fucking your bond. You feel me? So know that yeah, the money good, nigga. But when that money good, tuck some to the side every time you fucking spend. I mean, every time you flip. Cause if you don't and they get you, nigga, you ain't gonna have no lawyer money. You ain't gonna have no bond money. You ain't gonna have shit. Now you gonna have to get a job. You gonna be on this plan for years. You feel me? You gonna be doing all this shit, nigga. That. You feel me? If you would've had that stashed up, yeah, it's drug money, but fuck it, did they know? Nigga, just pay that shit. You feel me? Pay your bond as much as you can, do all that shit, bro, because if you get caught, I'm telling you, it's fucked. Yeah, my nigga, bro, his bond originally was 120,000, fam. Luckily, the next day, it got dropped to 80. Now, think about that. He only had to pay 10%, so just to get out, fam, he had to get eight bands and get that hoe, but he did it. You feel me? He got out. But he still had to pay the other 72 bands, you feel me? But bro, I don't want to put all his business out there. But he know what I'm talking about, bro. So this shit is real life, you feel me? If you moving like that and you stepping, just be smart about this shit. Like I said, I don't been there. I don't been through it. Everything I'm saying is real, nigga. I don't, nigga, I don't cap about this, bro. We from Texas. You know what's up, bro. And I know I just finished that video, but I'm going to just say, uh, all I'm going to say is, Man, like, comment, subscribe, man. We hit 130, bro. It's been four days since I had a honey. We going up. We going crazy, you feel me? Let's get to 200 fucking subs by the end of this week. I got another video that I'm going to drop tomorrow, and it's going to be about how to build a studio. If you into that, you feel me? You can go ahead and watch that. I bought that studio, set it up for $500, bro, and I make quality shit. You'll hear at the end of this haul, I'll put a little snippet of some shit on my, on my outro, but like, comment, subscribe. I want to see y'all win. I want to see y'all hustle, whether you in Texas or not, whether you in Cali, wherever you at, you feel me? Florida, Atlanta, you feel me? It's possible, nigga. I know how I feel to be broken. I know how it is to come up on some shit that you ain't never had before. So I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? SSD, Southside Dummy, you feel me? We out of this bitch. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Let's go. Vegas.